It's December 2nd and it's about 8 o'clock in the morning and we have an amazing spread that our hosts prepared for us. Oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay. Here we are. It's about 10.40. We're gonna set up and then we're gonna have lunch. And then we're gonna perform at one o'clock for about an hour and a half. Hi Papa. Hi. How are you doing? Good, thanks. You're looking very handsome. Oh, as thanks. usual. What time is lunch? 12? Twelve. Almost ready to go on. That's what we have after we're finished performing. Okay, we're ready to start the best part of our day. A real big thank you to Ken and Doris for housing us and feeding us and bedding us down. It's just an awesome thing for us. We want to bless you as well as entertain you. I went through 30 years ago. I was a very severe alcoholic. I smoked three packs of cigarettes a day. And it got to the point where I was homeless and I was knocking on a door for a bed to sleep. It happened when I was sales manager at Kenworth in Grand Prairie and the Holy Spirit got a hold of my heart one day because people were praying for me that I didn't even know. And I went into the washroom. I looked in the mirror and God showed me a man that was lost and lonely, I fell on my face before Jesus and I asked him to forgive me. I repented of my sins. He picked me up off the floor and he held me. And for the first time in my life, I felt true love. I knew that I knew that I was forgiven. And I'll tell you, there was thousand pounds that came off my shoulders that day and I left to the restaurant because after I got three hours worth of crying done I I was fired up and I knew I had to tell everyone about it and you know when the Holy Spirit touches you in a very very deep way never be silent about it because it's real and the way you, you, you keep repeating it and knowing that he is real and it becomes alive every time. That's why I get touched because he wants to touch all of us and there is no sin that he can't forgive and he won't forgive if we repent of our sins and ask him to take it. What you see up here is a miracle of miracles.
I don't deserve it, but I'm taking it as his blessing. He wants to bless each one of us. We're gonna continue on with that, our program, and then I've got some really, really happy stuff to share with you. We will stay. down in Penticton. And when the girls are doing their uh, work in the summertime, they're milking 30 goats by hand. And they've done it in 20 minutes. Two milkers and one that gathers them up. Ha -ha. And they make 35 different cheeses. And we have a cheese festival every spring. We're on our third one coming up this year. So we're really proud of it. And we are just blessed to have many, many people through our farm. I have a story to tell in regards to my rebellion. I don't like talking about that. But I was pretty rebellious. I still am at times. I don't think, is anybody else here rebellious? Uh, yeah, there's a few. Thank you for being honest. The ones that said no, uh, we can maybe talk later. Anyways, uh, after I was saved, a year after I met my beautiful wife. Such a blessing to me and the children. And then we had Bree and Brooke, the, the oldest twins. And this is where the rebellion comes in. I decided without going to my father in heaven or to my wife, I decided I would get a vasectomy. What's that? You know what a vasectomy is? Yeah. And did it all on my own because of selfish reasons. And four and a half years later, the Holy Spirit was tugging on my heart and my wife was holding babies and crying. and Tears were running down her face. And, and one day that the Holy Spirit just got a hold of me and said, why, I thought you gave your life to me, why would you cut off all the blessings I have for you? And I fell on my face and I repented of that sin. And the one you just saw up here singing and blessing you with that rejoice was our first reversal baby, Amberlynn. And the, oh, and the rest of them, the rest of them, they just keep coming, isn't that beautiful? Oh. Started at 42 years old and had seven more children. And we would never be here in front of you if it wasn't for that commitment that one man made and repented of his sin. And you know, I gotta tell you, it's never too late. And I'm not talking about getting a reversal either. I'm talking about repentance of sin. If we recognize it, he will bless us as he has right here as you see it. So we'll continue on. Mom is so very patient and strong. Mom is loving and she's a hard worker. And most of all, she loves Yahweh. And we are so blessed. How'd it go, Louie? Awesome. People, very good. How do you think it went? It was awesome. Be careful on the sweets. Be careful the sweets. on the sweets. Yeah. Amber. 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 Whoa. 
Oh no! <laughs> This is our entertainment. We go, Charlie. <laughs> Woohoo! Encore. I mean, no more. Go. Where's my bowl? That's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do harder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. Well, I did it for you. Hello, you two. Hello. <laughs> what a fancy bed you got there, Sarah. Yeah. Who are you sleeping on? Uh, Rufus. Not Rufus. He's a humongous bear. This is our last night at the McKinnons. Lovely, lovely but time. Such wonderful Huffy hosts. Yes. <laughs> oh my. He's very flexible. He's hugging backwards. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. Oh, he was in there. It's the morning of December 3rd. Everyone just woke up about 12 minutes ago. We're getting ready to go. Everyone's in. Oh, give it another go, Brooke. Oh, and another one, Brooke. Oh, she gave up. Brooke doesn't give up. There, Mr. McKinnon standing in the window. And so is Mrs. Mrs. McKinnon with the cat. Aw. You're so sweet. They sure do know how to host and make their guests feel comfortable. Seven o'clock exactly. We are off to Red Deer. We have a concert at 10 o'clock and then another concert in Camrose at two o'clock. 84, 85 I think. to Camrose. This is the one and only time that we have ever and probably will ever eat salsa and chips in the van. <laughs> They're good. Hi. We are returning from Camrose. We had a very wonderful and successful concert there for dear Mrs. Scredding. Hi Bree. Doing better? Always been better. She's been struggling with a cold. We have a lovely sunset that we can drive into. It's 8 after 8 p.m. and Lene just surprised us with caramel chocolate squares. Homemade caramel chocolate squares, the ones we love so much. So much. She packed them and hid them this whole trip. I wonder if she nibbled on them secretly. Did you one? Did you pass that back? She well, says we, she did. not And one. she can be trusted. That's debatable. <laughs> Look at the most back there. Look at these things. Wow. I'm gonna dig in. Goodbye. We're home. Hallelujah. She's barking and barking. We're all walking away from her. <laughs> she just wants to say hello. Ida, she's so happy her tail couldn't go faster when we drove in the yard. We're all ready for sleep. Yes, good night. Yes, you have a wonderful rest. Thank you. Thank you.
you two. Doesn't even look like we left. Oh, she was letting the world know that we're home. It's so beautiful and clean up here. Why she want cookie dough or something? Everyone's dousing up.